Hello YouTube, this is Chuck and today is uh, Tuesday, March 14th and uh, we're out in the wild today. I'm out here with out here with Wayne. Say hi Wayne. Hi Wayne. And uh, anyway, we're at a place here that, uh, that call, the locals call Way Cool. And if you look down there, you can see, Wayne's going to stick his hand down there, you can see the, look at the matats there where the ancient people ground their, ground their corn. There's several of them across here. Some of them are full of pack rat stuff. We got a whole bunch of these little ones over here, and we're not sure what they were used for. We think maybe they were used to grind paint. But this, uh, this particular spot over here, we're going to walk across the way. I'm going to finish panning around. It's down in the bottom of this little drainage. And if you look over the other side, you can actually see an overhang over there. We're going to walk over there and take a look. But uh, behind us, uh, back over behind where the camera's at there, probably a half a mile or so, is a pretty large ruin complex that's been excavated and is open for the public. And what we think was going on here is we think this was kind of their city park, if you will. If you can envision this little water hole here, and if I pan here to the right, you can see down there, they actually, I'll show it a little closer, but they actually cut a little notch out there to let the water run out. But this is a little natural, kind of a natural water impoundment here. And I can just envision back in, you know, a thousand years ago, I can imagine little Indian kids down here playing in the water on a hot day. There's a lot of the matats around. You can see there's one right there. There's a couple more right over there. And then some more right down here. It's a pretty day today. The temperature is probably in the high 50s. We got a storm coming in tonight, which is one of the reasons why I went ahead and got Wayne to bring me out here with his Jeep because it's a little bit of a Jeep road to get in here. There's some more Matats. You can see them. And then over here along this, the side under, underneath here, there's some ones that are in pretty good shape because they're protected from the weather. You can see them all along, all along here. You can see them. And then right here in front of us there, you can see some rock paintings. Those aren't petroglyphs, they're actually paintings. Uh, they used to be in better shape uh, years ago when I came in here. But, uh, you know, it's been, there's been a bit of vandalism and the weather's taken its toll. You can see some figures there. They're actually showing up better on camera than they do in real life, which is kind of cool. But back up under here, you know, I can just imagine some, you know, some ancient people sitting in here on a, on a hot day to get out of the out of the sun and and uh, you know the women sitting in here and grinding corn at the matats and probably complaining about their husbands because that's kind of what gals do sometimes and then up on the top here you can see uh oh there's the spaceman there was one there's one we call the spaceman i was trying to find him oh there he is and there he is right there <laughs> i'll pan this up right there he come out really really good you can see him really good we call him the spaceman because he's got that little thing that almost looks like a helmet or a halo or something. We're not sure what it is. But uh, the, the roof of this thing, of course, has seen a lot of, a lot of soot from fires over the many, many years. Yeah, but there's still quite a bit of stuff that's visible. There's some more visible right there. Mm -hmm. there's, there's and then some right back over in here. Yeah, back over there's in there, Wayne's pointing to it. There's another spaceman. There's right another there. one. Yeah, it looks kind of like another spaceman. Right there, I think you can see it. Yeah, it's showing it pretty good on camera. That's good. Now, this rock fell down. It was up because underneath of it, I can see paintings under here. Okay, let me see if I can get down there. I don't know if I can get it down there with the camera or not. Um, just yeah, a little bit. You can't see it very well. Can't see it very well. But uh, this is the people that were here probably seven, eight hundred years ago. Let me pan back around to the outside. Now this uh, this spot, as far as I know, it does not have an official name. Years ago, the local archaeological club uh, nicknamed it Way Cool, and it is such a Way Cool spot. So we just call you need to call it that way. Here's some more more matats. There's one a couple right in front of us there, and a couple other underneath that overhang. But we think on a real hot day, that's this is probably where the the tribal folks came to hang out. And you now, if you can you know if you can imagine, it doesn't take a whole lot of imagination to Think about these pools of water here with a bunch of little Indian kids laughing and playing in them. But let me walk back around here and show you the outlet for this. It's about, uh, oh, only about a hundred yard walk, but it's a little bit of a drive with a Jeep to get in here. But it wouldn't be so bad to actually walk in here. I've actually walked in here from the main road before. 
But right down below here, you can see where they they carved a little notch in here to let the water drain where they wanted it to. And then back over here, they carved a little notch right there to let the water out. So just a little quick one to show you. Here's down the creek a little ways. And uh, like I say, it's a, it's a nice day. We got a storm coming in tonight. We're supposed to get another inch of rain or so. I'm, they're worried about the rain coming in on top of the snow and costing a lot of runoff. There you can see upstream. This little, uh, little thing becomes a canyon right here where we're at. And uh, so this, I'll let you go for now. You can see the kind of country we're in. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. So like I always say, love each other, take care of each other. And I'll talk to you again real soon.